He, they pulled him out of the car. They pulled him out of the car and put handcuffs on him because they said he fits the description of a homicide suspect. This one showed me the, the picture, which looks yeah, nothing so, like so him. The, yeah, the and when I asked to take a picture of the picture that he showed, he won't show me. The picture looks nothing not, like not him. Right yeah, I want, I want, I want to take a, a picture of the picture. Not taking a picture of yeah. my screen. Yeah. Why not? I'm telling you that right now. Yeah. He won't yeah. let me take a picture of his screen. Listen. Yeah. He won't yeah. let me take a picture of his screen, listen, listen. which is supposed to fit the description. Come yes, on. please right. tell me why. So please, on, please tell me why. So that he told you uh -huh. is law enforcement sensitive information, so we can't let you take a picture. But you guys, you you guys, uh, unless unless you think all black people look alike, you guys know that that is not him in that picture. That, and that's the only way. Even he just it's said he okay, knows it. Yeah, y'all know it's not him. And the, you, let, just run, just run the gun. Just, just run the gun. If that's the please run it because we're legal. It's very fine. We're, we're, everything is legal. We have insurance on the car. Okay. The gun is registered to him. And this will be really quick and easy. Good. Big that is, it, it is a big of a deal because if you were sitting yeah, in your car minding your own business deal. and cops just came and dragged you out of your car and put you in handcuffs and, and said that you fit the, the description, you would be very upset too. You didn't drag him out the car? So this is not him out of his own vehicle in handcuffs because he fits the description? Why? Why Why did you take him out of the car? He fits the description of a homicide detective. And let me tell y'all, they will not let me show the picture because y'all know very well he does not look like him. All it is is a black dude with red dreads. They're not even the same skin color. Solo is darker skin, has a freaking dark beard. Like, this is ridiculous. This is, this is, this is, this is racial profiling is exactly what it is. This is racial profiling. Yeah, it is. It is. No, let them run it. Let them run it. Yeah, yeah, just run the gun. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. And today, the Tucson Police Department in Arizona has made the highlight reel. Guess what happened? So let me give you the backstory. You have a couple that's in the car. They pull up to a store. The wife goes inside. The husband stays inside of the car. While sitting in the car, Tucson police, who were there for 30 minutes in the parking lot watching the husband, came to the conclusion that this was their murder suspect. The problem is this. According to the husband and wife, and also even the police at some point in this video, that the murder suspect looks nothing like the guy they have detained in handcuffs right now. Here's where knowing your rights really come into play. You must know your rights. Now, you will hear the wife and the husband say, run the gun. Is he giving them permission to search his vehicle or run the serial on his weapon? He is. But why? He's doing it under duress. He's so eager to prove that he is not the murder suspect. He just gave up his rights. But even in a situation like this, when it's under duress, you still file a lawsuit. There are so many violations in this video. I can't list them all. I'm going to get back to the video. You guys put down in the comment section every violation that you find. Let's get back to the video. That's all. They seen a black man sitting here. And, and with some red dreads and decided, you know what, let's let's pull him out the car. I feel you're going to have to change your hair color because this is you're going to have to change your hair color because this is this is this is too much. Run the gun, bro. Are y'all running the gun? Run, run the gun. Listen, we're going to handle this how we're going to handle this. Run you're not gun, dictating bro. this. And you're you not guys are violating our civil rights. Not you very much yeah, are. Really you you, you very much you. are. What law is this? that you can take someone out of their car because they fit the description and arrest them. All you guys had to do was run his name. You run his name, right? He did. And we're working yeah, waiting, so what's... waiting for a dispatcher to let us know. Yeah. What do you need gloves for? So he made sure there ain't no fingerprints. Yeah, I want that. Oh, I thought he was fixing to search you and I was going to ask why you were going to search his person if he's not under arrest. It really does. It really does. It really does. Bruh. And what? And what was? 
And what was y'all just waiting on? Like, as soon as I came out the car, y'all just, I knew the way y'all walked up, y'all just rushed. What the hell? It's one in the head. Oh my God, if, if you don't know how to handle it. <laughs> you get your gut back. It's right now, I'm gonna play back. I don't worry about that, bro. You gotta do, do your thing. Why are you putting it in your car? Wait, why are you putting just, it in there? Just let him do a thing, just so we can get this shit over. No, I just want to make sure everything is handled the way it's no, supposed it to be. Why are good. you putting just it in let your him vehicle? Let do a thing, so I can go. <laughs> you look familiar. That one looks that looks familiar. He looks like the one that came up to us outside of Kroger that time. I don't work on this side of town, so it wouldn't be. We don't live on this side of town either. I'm talking about the other side of town. I think he was with a group of cops who came up to us when he had his AR with him. Maybe. Probably. You guys just harass so many black people you can't remember. Why are you holding him? Are you scared he's gonna run or what? In handcuffs? <laughs> In case he falls down. I don't like them. I don't like y'all to my back. How embarrassing, bro. That, that's, that's a shame. You, I told you we need to tint the windows. You can't even sit in your car and be black, bro. Dang, so you can be detained and harassed and pulled out of your car and held up for a crime, but you can't be told what the crime is. Is is uh, when did the homicide happen? Yeah, yeah I bet that, I bet three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So how y'all huh? that it don't matter if it was two or three weeks ago. We we uh, how, how got an alibi for all of it. Like but he snitched on him. I'm talking about how do y'all think the person was here, like here. We're literally here trying to get some drink. And they just seen a uh, just, they just seen a black somebody. man in the car and was like, he got red dreads, let's get him. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, we, no, 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 wait, 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 dude. If his friend snitched on him, can't y'all bring the friend so got, he can wait, tell I you? Got hard on for this. Come on, let's get him. Can't can't the friend come and tell you that this ain't the person? The friend that snitched on the guy. Can't he come and tell you, hey, this is not my friend? Oh, so then why are we still here? Okay, wait. Wait. Hold on, I can't I can't hear. I'm just trying to make it make sense. Wait, so So what you guys stopped him for, you guys already figured out that's not it, but you're still holding him now? Why can't we talk to him? What do you need to talk to speak to the lieutenant? Just so I can speak to him friendly conversation. Why can't he just talk to your supervisor if he asks you? Don't he ha don't he have that right? There's somebody over you, isn't there? Well, he wants to talk to whoever's over you. Yeah, I do. I want to speak to him. And if y'all already determined that he's not the suspect you're looking for, why is he still in handcuffs? 
So now you're investigating something else? <laughs> Are y'all being serious? <laughs> it's funny. Bro. No, it's not funny. It's, it's scary, bro. Because y'all just determined that he's not the person you're looking for, and it now you're investigating funny. something else. It's very funny. Jesus, this can't be real, bro. This can't be real. Like I, I, I can't deal with this. So y'all figured out he's not the suspect, and now you're looking. Y'all are just looking for something at this point, is what you're telling me. Well, we stopped you for being a murder suspect. We determined you're not the person. Now, so now we're going to investigate something else. Right now, yeah, yeah, something because your hands sweaty and shit. Look at your arm. Why are you holding him? Why are you holding him anyways? So this is fall down. We get sued for it. So he's going to fall off the car because he's retarded or what, bro? I'm not saying he's going to fall off the car. Yeah, sit right there. Okay, yeah. I'm on my. This man, the only reason why you're no, the only reason why he's the same detained is because he's black and he had red dreadlocks, and y'all can't tell one from the next. That's what it is. You're black and you have red dreadlocks, and y'all can't. Yeah, all black people look alike. Y'all could obviously could not tell that, that that was not the right person. Yeah. Why not? Because they see me coming out and getting in the car and they were scared you was going to yeah, drive off. We did. The homicide we called more back up. She started coming out. You guys were going to leave because I'm a homicide suspect. Just drive away, right? That's why we walked up on you when she came out. That's it. It's not like we waited for a prime of opportunity yeah. to... That's what it seemed like you did because y'all sat there for a mighty... She, she been inside that stuff. I've been in like there for two, a long time. Minutes. I've been in there for like 30 minutes because I was just complaining how long it was taking, bro. Right now we were pulling up trying to find this picture down the picture. Couldn't determine if it was you or not. So you went in the car. <laughs> so so y'all so so so, so the conversation uh, like damn that looked like the homicide suspect, right? That, that's how the conversation went. <laughs> Legit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, hey. y'all just like snakes on the street. What 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 is it that we're waiting on now? I think I did you ask to speak up with our boss? Yeah he did because yeah, so she's on the phone with the boss to see if he can they they've already determined he's not the murder suspect that they're looking for so we're trying to understand why he's still in handcuffs and they haven't let us go another sure. investigation uh, the on the phone with her boss and trying to do it we're going to have to come down and y'all have kids I, I hope that y'all's kids get I, I hope that this happens to y'all's kids so y'all can get a feeling of what it's like to just yeah it's funny now to just just, what we're minding our business we ain't criminals we go to work and mind our own business and raise our kids and you just came and dragged him out the car bruh and now you already determined he's not even who you're looking for in all of this and you didn't call the neck like cop like bruh not only is this embarrassing it's scary that you can just drag someone out of their vehicle for doing nothing the gun we have is legal and registered to him all you have to do is run it the car is insured. You can't even give us a ticket for no insurance. The car has insurance, bruh. We can give you a ticket for no insurance. Like, we're, we're, we're legal in every, everything that y'all look. I got a medical card, and, and weed is legal here <laughs> in, in Arizona for recreational use. And I have a medical card. So, like, everything that we're doing here, we're obeying every law that we're supposed to be obeying. And, bruh, we're still, still doing this? Like, I see, I see the, like, nah. Listen to the hurt in her voice. She's crying. She's literally crying because she's obeying the law and yet and still she's being harassed. Her husband's being harassed. This tyranny must stop. Nah, like not us. This ain't gonna happen to us, bro. And then like this one's in here laughing like. That's why uh, when I showed up, uh, she was calling me. Let me see if uh, he's out of work. Yeah, he's out So what else y'all need to come back clear? What else y'all need to come back clear? Like what what are we waiting on? Yeah, like Trump is for that protection. Damn, I don't know why it's so hard to answer a question. Just say for your protection. Hell, I'm not confused. 
just set it around the dead body we have back there. That's it? That's it. Bye, right, let's go. We're free to leave, right? Yeah, he's getting paid. One of the most disturbing things about this particular video that really angered me other than all of the rights violations that were taking place is the fact that you have a law abiding citizen who's stating that I'm following every law and still you guys are harassing us. It makes you feel like, what more can we do? I'm following the laws. I'm doing everything that I was told to do. And yet, and still my husband is in handcuffs and we are being harassed. I'm not sure who this couple is in this video, but if you guys know who this is, please send me an email at abaya at we the people I would love to help them in any way that I can make sure you know your rights. Hopefully this does not happen to you or myself. With that being said, We The People University signing off. All right, guys, if you're looking for the perfect tool to make sure your rights are never violated, to place the law in your pocket so when you deal with tyrants, you will know what to say and what to do, head over to the Apple or the Android store and download Cancel Tyranny. Make sure you know what to do when you deal with police. Get the app today.